the Earth Cruiser handles very well on bitumen and dirt surfaces and the ride quality is quite good for this class of vehicle. And off-road ability is almost unbelievable as you'll see from the following footage. Writing from Outback Travel Australia. Today I'm with Mark Fawcett from Earth Cruiser. These motorhomes are something else and Mark's going to tell us about the latest one. Aren't you Mark? Yeah. This model is built on the new Euro 6 daily platform which has some additional emissions control equipment and some significant interior improvements in the cabin. Part of the Euro 6 package is a revised interior layout with new seats. I thought they were pretty good when I drove one of the press release vehicles. But you go a step further, Mark. What do you yeah, do? Yeah, we have to, our, our customers are in them for a long period of time, so we actually re-sculpture all the seats. Mm -hmm. um, obviously we recover them in leather and also, or ultra leather, depending on what the customer chooses. But but they're, they're far more bucketed, we use different foams in them. It, the the stru seat structure is the same, but we do do a lot of work to make them as comfortable as we can. Mm -hmm. We also lower them. Um, we put swivels on them so that they um, swivel around and make a four-man dinette. Also, by accessing this door here, all of your battery switches are hidden behind a locked door. So therefore, if you want to shut everything down, firstly, someone has to know the battery switches are there. Uh, and then secondly, know how to operate it all, so it does give another level of security for the for the vehicle. Um, interior, other than that, we put our control system up here, um, our, our touchscreen system, which is the same in the back. Uh, and this one's got a 1080p camera in there, and I'll show you the camera systems later. This has got a full tracking system on this, um, both visually with cameras and also through the GPS. So our new tracking system, uh, this vehicle number is EXP38. Uh, you can see that's where we are at Old Farm Road. It's showing you there. Uh, then we go to the video screen. Um, all of the videos will come up. It's got five cameras on this truck. Um, let's take a second to come up. So we've got um, two rear shots, two front cameras there, and then we've got a 1080p on the front. You can enlarge them. Um, it also has vi uh, voice recording as well on this if you want it. Um, it allows you to see your vehicle anywhere in the world, so that map will pick up that position anywhere in the world. The other thing this vehicle comes with is a hotspot, so when you go across to um, Wi-Fi, uh, ST, STXP38, that's its own hotspot, and that allows you to put a 20 uh, dB gain aerial on the roof when you're out in remote areas. At the moment it's got a 6 dB gain aerial on it, so I think a mobile phone's about 2, so you're already increasing your gain in remote areas but to be able to put a 20 dBA gain out in the middle of nowhere could it save your life. So auxiliary tank, this one here's got an extra 250 litres um, of add-on tank plus the 90 litres gives you 340 litres of fuel. Uh, this is if you want to plug in at a power outlet. 
in here. This one's got lithium batteries, so it's got 800 amps of lithium on this one. Wow. Um, there's two 400s. There's no wet cell batteries on this truck. It's all lithium. Uh, that allows you to run that air conditioner for about six days without um, charging, even mm. though it's got uh, 800 watts of solar coming in on this one. Um, so it has a little, a little water pump here, and you've got your air outlet there. Uh, entry to the vehicle is through this door here. Got steps coming down. It's very civilised. We started adding these. Um, we're still working on whether it's a standard yet, but um, it seems to be working really well. We were worried about it catching on things, but um, that'll, uh, it'll it's probably almost fly. So this one's got a 240 volt barbecue in here. Is that in the top of the door? Um, so this allows you to cook um, using inverter and lithium batteries. Um, I'll show you how the little whole kitchenette thing works. Just put it down. So this becomes your bench. This is kind of an external pantry type set up here. Oh, that's neat. Um, You're not reaching in for things. That's good. This is a sensational um, barbecue. We have them made in. Uh, New York for us in, in the US. Mm -hmm. um, they make our internal induction stuff and our external 240 volt barbecues. But the uh, <coughs> the element in it runs through the. the oh, uh, it's internal. Perfect. Yeah. Right. It's, it's such so a no gas. No. no gas in this. We can still do the LPG models <coughs> if someone prefers. Sure. If they didn't go for lithium, we'd have to go for an LPG here. Yep. A rear fridge. So uh, this one's only got a 55, 54 liter in it. Normally we put a 70 liter in it. Uh, it has a diesel heater system in here, so you can use this as a drying room when you're at the snow. It also has our arctic tank system in here, so this is heated both by 12 volts and diesel, um, so that when you're driving the vehicle, you can be running it just on 12 volts. Uh, when you're parked for long periods of time, you would heat this using the diesel system, um, separate to the cabin uh, system, and that would allow you to keep this water up to 40 degrees. Also at the back of here we have uh, access to our uh, high pressure water blaster. This vehicle comes with a high pressure water blaster so that you know when you do completely fill the underside with mud and you've got to get under mm. and see what's going on you can just get the blaster out which uses the least amount of water because it's got the small nozzle. Yes. So on the back we have um, two spare tyres. Um, we have either fuel or with the Euro 6 we have Ad Blue so this is actually full of Ad Blue. Yep. Um, so if you're in remote areas you've got another 30 litres there. Uh, rear spotlight cameras, they're recording 24 hours a day. Um, air conditioner, so this is the air conditioner that we fit to uh, to cool the vehicle. We've tested that in some quite uh, quite hot nights with four people in the vehicle and it works really well. Good. Uh, rear winch. Um, yes, you don't always want to winch forward. No, you? no. Half the time you're winching someone else out, so it's just easier. <laughs> yeah, All of course. Uh, match track uh, holder. That match track holder also becomes a wood carrier. Um, rubbish bags. On this, uh, we pretty much fit most of our recovery gear in here. Um, we use it mostly for tools and spares. Tools, yep. yeah. well, we use a 40 volt uh, steel chainsaw. Um, this one's got a vacuum cleaner in it. So this is a new um, thing for us. This is our external shower. And what it allows for is to have a curtain come all the way oh, around. Nice. Yeah, so it just gives you, it gives you some more storage in here. Little mirror, yeah. that's cute. Love it. Yeah. We don't have a lot of uh, vertical spaces to put mirrors, so there's one and we've got another one inside um, which has to have the door come down for that to work. So you just pull all this down and it becomes a curtain and if you get more modest that's what you can use, but most people are 400 miles from anyone so, yeah, so it doesn't really matter, does it? No, not really. It's just moving forward, we've got a scrub bar here which just protects your pillars, bash yep. them through the bush. It also gives us a place to mount all the aerials, so we've got a, a UHF aerial, an AMFM aerial, and then we've got our uh, Wi-Fi aerial. Then we've got the big light bar. Uh, we have a uh, 17,500 pound winch in there. More cameras uh, on the front here, and then we're running the light force driving light. Earth Cruiser is really well known for having quality wheels and tyres. These look classy. Yeah, so the the wheels are ours. They're made um, made overseas for us. They're a a fully forged alloy rim. We make them for the Ivecos, the Fusos and the Isuzu's, all in 17 inch. Um, the tyres we bring in from the States, they're a Toyo um, mud tyre, which um, allows us to have a, a 1950 kilo rating on. The other thing you notice on here, we, we're using um, CAP uh, TPMS monitors, mm -hmm. so 
That comes standard with an Earth Cruiser now where the tyre pressure monitoring system comes up through our touch screens. Also we have the, uh, the Bilstein shocks and they're specially built for Earth Cruisers. So they've been really good for us, they've um, spent a lot of time developing the exact valving for us on these, on these vehicles. To so put the roof up it's quite simple, just push the button. If you get marooned and you've got no electrical power, which is unlikely, mm. you can still raise the roof manually. Yeah. So either up or down, there's a, a small screw under here, you take that out and you can undo it by hand. It's much quicker with a little electric drill. Not only not only do we allow for override on this, but every function we have, we, we try to have some sort of redundancy or a manual override. The awning has a manual override where you can wind in by hand. The stairs you can wind in by hand. The toilet you can bring in and out by hand if you need to. So everything we try to look at is if it fails. Um, the wheels at the back, if the little winches fail, there's an override for that. So yeah, everything that we build, we try to say, okay, now what happens if you've got nothing? Mm. Then what do you've got to do? So yeah. yeah, we try to look at that for everything. And when you come in, uh, the first thing you can do is just touch that, which turns everything on. Uh, your main screen looks like this. We head for the lights, uh, bench light, table light, galley light, um, bed light, shower light, then you've got courtesy lights on the floor, and then these are external lights, so you don't have to turn them on at the moment. Um, come back to here, you've got all your temperatures. What the temperatures allow you to do is at the moment we've got our main fridge at minus nine degrees and our rear fridge at minus six. So if, you, if you're low on power and you want to turn the fridges off overnight, you can just look at the temperatures and shut them down from here, because as you can see, we've got rear fridge and main fridge on, so you could turn them off. And if they're not going to get open through the night, they'd pretty much come up with the same sort of temperature in the morning, maybe one or two degrees. Further across, you've got your gauges. So we've got, at the moment, we've got two amps of solar coming in and we've got six amps discharging. Now six amps is your two fridges, your camera system, your touchscreen system, and just any other little electronics that are on at the moment, mm. um, and the lights. And as you can see, we've got 2.7 coming in, which we've got an overcast day under a tree, so not too bad. Um, and then we have our tanks. So tanks are, here we've got 140 litres of water and 200 litres of water in two different tanks. Um, that giving us 340 usable litres of water for drinking. You can pump it all through your drinking, you can bring it all out as hot water through our continuous hot water system. Um, and then you have your diesel tank which is the 250 litres there and your, that's your fuel pump. Both chairs will swivel. Um, there's a table comes out here and sits between the whole four of them. So the table also drops down and this becomes a bed. Looking inside, uh, this is an induction cooktop. Again, this one's built in the US for us. It's the same, same, same brand, brand as yeah. the Barbie. Yeah, the guy who builds all this stuff is extremely passionate about it. So this one's got the induction cooktop because it's got lithium, we're able to do that. But typically we would put a diesel uh, cooktop in here. It has a 3 kVA uh, inverter in it, 3000 watt inverter in it. So that's the internal part of the air conditioner. Um, that allows, it's got a remote control and you can set it for whatever you like. Um, you, there's timers to make it come on and timers to make it go off. Now I know there's a loo and a shower, but it's pretty well hidden. Yeah, well we use this space, it doubles up as our entry. Um, so it's a wet area, yeah, it's a wet area. With muddy boots. So if you remember, yeah, the old houses with the mud rim, it's kind of yeah, like of that. Course. So snow or mud, it's, uh, it, you can dump everything there and deal with it later. Um, it's quite simple. I mean, the toilet's all hidden away, so if you have guests in here, they can't see anything. It's they're basically working, walking through an entryway. Um, you just open that. It's a two-way hinge. Um, you go in here if you want to use it. The toilet comes out. And that's the toilet setup. Now, if you want to use this same area as a shower, um, you put the toilet away. Uh, just another little thing. The hideaway toilet roll. It, it actually um, has a little mechanism in it which allows it to come in and out so it doesn't get wet. Oh, that's very marine. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's all sealed so you don't get wet toilet paper. Um, so you use the, the shower. This comes down from the roof. And that's it. 
So another one in the Earth Cruiser family. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Thanks.